Today, President Biden has announced new sanctions and further aid uh, for Ukraine, oh, sanctions on Russia, further aid for Ukraine. Um, do you think that European allies and European countries are um, carrying their fair share right now? And what do you think uh, should be done? I don't think they're carrying their fair share now. I think it's getting better, uh, but they're still buying oil from Russia. That needs to stop. That's hopefully the message that Joe Biden's giving uh, in Europe right now. Uh, that's the least they can do. We're going to all have to have shared sacrifice. Uh, I do believe that we're finally getting uh, weapons into Ukraine uh, and aid to Ukraine. I think the private sector stepped up. I know the government stepped up. So hopefully uh, that aid will be beneficial. Now, uh, in his recent talks, uh, President Biden with uh, Chairman Xi of China, uh, the White House said that President Biden described the consequences that would take place uh, if China continued or does provide support with Russia, uh, to Russia. Do you believe that the Chinese regime is taking the U.S. warning uh, seriously? Well, I hope so. I want to believe they will. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think Joe Biden's had a very good first year in office. I think the debacle in Af Afghanistan really hurt his standing on the world stage. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will change. Hopefully, uh, he'll, uh, his words will resonate with, with China. But thus far in the first year of the Biden administration, I think it's safe to say that China doesn't have a lot of fear of Joe Biden, uh, not the same type of fear that they had of Donald Trump. Now, if China were to uh, take action in Taiwan, do you think the United States should and will help Taiwan militarily? Well, you know, again, I, I thought after Afghanistan, uh, our days were, were finished with helping other countries with uh, massive amounts of foreign aid and, and military assistance. But uh, that changed with Ukraine. I've been surprised by the outpouring of support from my congressional district of people wanting to support the Ukrainians. Uh, I don't know if there will be that same type of help for Taiwan. Uh, but as you know, we have a much uh, more uh, critical relationship with Taiwan from a from an economic development standpoint in the United States. So uh, there are a lot of problems in the world and unfortunately leadership matters. I think that Joe Biden made a lot of mistakes in the first year of office that have put us where we are on the world stage now with the crises in Ukraine, with the potential crises in, in Taiwan. Uh, and then who knows what's gonna happen in Iran. I, I'm nervous anytime someone from the Biden administration goes over to Iran and negotiates anything with them. So, uh, you know, I sincerely hope Joe Biden's successful in negotiations with world leaders, but thus far, I don't think anybody's been impressed with this first year in office. Congressman James Comer, thank you. Thank you for having me.